Steve with a great question, one that we could probably build an entire mm. episode around, but I'm going to ask everyone to try to chime in here with their two cents. Uh, all three of you, if you would like to chime in on this one, Steve says, hashtag AJB, is this the new norm for Florida? Living on pins and needles with every disturbance, never had to do this so much as we have been lately. I know, I don't know if you have it at your fingertips, Amanda, but there is a graphic that shows just how many storms have hit Florida in recent years. Um, it, it's uh, uh, Rebecca, why don't we start with you? Yeah. Steve want to know, is this, is this going to be our relative normal going forward? Well, I would just say that it's been our normal for a long time. If you yeah. remember the Charlie Francis Ivan Jean year, we just lived evacuated basically. Um, and so it may feel more impactful to you if it impacted you this time. But I will say around the state, it, it's always impacting somebody around the state. And they feel like it's, you know, the worst season they've ever had that year because it, it impacted their home or their business or their lives. And so certainly busy, uh, but not, I would call, I, would, I, don't, I don't think it's unusually busy. I just think we had a really nice lull, you know. Yeah. In the uh, early two thousand mid two thousands. I yeah. agree. I think, you know, it really just depends on the steering currents. Uh we could ask the same question to Louisiana a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. They were in our boat, uh, where they had storm after storm after storm and they were asking that same question. Unfortunately, it just kind of depends year to year how the steering current set up and this year just you know, we're, we're being impacted a little bit more and it's been a long time since we've been significantly impacted. So uh, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. You know, we'll have to do some long term studies. We'll have to wait 10, 15, 20 years down the line to, to really say and answer that question accurately. Ryan, what do you think? Um, being from southeast Florida, we haven't had a major strike in over 20 years. If you count Hurricane Jean and it's been 30 plus years, if you count Hurricane Andrew. But we do go through periods where we have elevated activity. Then we go through long lulls. 1940s in South Florida, we had several major hurricane strikes. Then we went the 50s, much of the 60s, even much of the 70s without any major activity. And then the 1990s, Hurricane Andrew hit. And since then, we've been quiet. So a lot of these areas, they do go through patterns where it's very active, then where it's very inactive. So we've had periods like this in Florida before, especially once again, the 1940s. Then the 1950s, we calmed down. So it looks like we might be entering another era of heightened activity once again whether this is tied to the cold phase the warm phase of the atlantic multi-decadal oscillation that is a possibility but these storms they do go through patterns where areas are hit with active patterns and then followed by inactive patterns so right now there are some areas that are in active patterns such as the gulf and maybe southeast florida is one of these areas that there is a lull in activity 